Yeah. And, and Mark, we showed the poll uh, earlier to Senator Durbin about with out of Iowa that Senator Clinton is 40 points ahead of uh, uh, Senator Warren. But is that a good thing for the party? Is it a good thing for Hillary Clinton to remain virtually unchallenged? I, I don't think so. I mean, I think clearly, I mean, th I don't think those numbers really mean all that much right now. But I think, you know, clearly uh, there's not much, there's no competition now. And I think if, if Elizabeth Warren were to get in, there would be some real oxygen that, that sort of gathered around her. But otherwise, no, I mean, I think she's in a very safe position, but, but clearly I think people want to see her out there. They want to see her in a dynamic environment, and, and you know, if she waits, that's just going to hold off. And I think also if you're being criticized for being a part of a coronation, it's not good to have your announcement date treated like a royal birth. I mean, we get story after story, you know, when is Prince George of Cambridge going to arrive? So her goal is to get out and talk about herself, not all this process stuff. That's why I waited. His point makes great sense. And also, if it looks like a coronation, the people I've mm -hmm. talked to in Iowa last week were saying that's all the more reason she has to get out there, show she's going to fight and grid and grind it out, even though she's got no competition. And there are plenty of people also and say she needs the practice. Yeah, and John makes a good point. 